Good day everyone. Let's try to answer some random problem in mathematics. And let's start. Here's the question. Solve in R. We have the equation 10 raised to x plus 11 raised to x plus 12 raised to x equals 13 raised to x plus 14 raised to x. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video right now. And if you're ready, here's the solution. And I hope you pause this video. Now, let's see if you get the correct answer. The key to answer this problem is to divide all terms by 13 raised to x. Now, if we do that, we get 10 raised to x over 13 raised to x plus 11 raised to x over 13 raised to x plus 12 raised to x over 13 raised to x equals 1 plus 14 raised to x over 13 raised to x. Now, let's apply this loss of exponent. If we have a raised to x all over b raised to x, it is equal to a over b raised to x. Therefore, we have 10 over 13 raised to x plus 11 over 13 raised to x plus 12 over 13 raised to x equals 1 plus 14 over 13 raised to x. Now, let the left-hand side be equal to f of x and the right-hand side be equal to g of x. Now, let's first consider the left-hand side. 10 over 13 is definitely between 0 and 1. 11 over 13 is between 0 and 1 also. And 12 over 13 is definitely between 0 and 1. Now, for all b that is greater than 0 but less than 1, b raised to x is decreasing. Therefore, the left-hand side is a decreasing function. Now, how about the right-hand side? Take note that 14 over 13 is greater than 1. This is just 1 plus 1 over 13. Now, for all b that is greater than 1, strictly greater than 1, b raised to x is increasing. Therefore, the right-hand side is an increasing function. Now, here's a fact. A decreasing and increasing function can only intersect once. So, there is only one solution to this equation. Now, I am wonder what their graphs looks like. To do that, let's use Desmos. Now, I have here f of x must be equal to 10 over 13 raised to x plus 11 over 13 raised to x plus 12 over 13 raised to x. And g of x must be equal to 1 plus 14 over 13 raised to x. Now, here's the graph of f of x looks like. This is definitely a decreasing function. And here's the graph of g of x. And this is definitely an increasing function. Function. And as you can see, they meet at exactly one point. And that one point must be, let's see, what is that one point? They meet at x equals 2. Therefore, the only solution to this equation is x equals 2. Now, let's verify this result. Let's go back to our question again. From the graph, we see that x equals 2 satisfies the equation. Now, let's verify. We will use the original equation. Now, if we plug in x equals 2, we have 10 squared will give us 100. 11 squared is 121. 12 squared is 144. So, 100 plus 121 plus 144 will give us 365. Now, the right-hand side, 13 squared will give us 169. 14 squared will give us 196. Now, 169 plus 196 will give us 365 also. Therefore, x equals 2 is a legit solution to this equation. Therefore, the only real solution to this equation must be x equals 2. And we're done.